Some cities across the nation will be dealing with a winter wonderland as some very frigid air spreads in across the country. All the detailed look coming your way next. Everybody and welcome back to the Winter Nerds YouTube channel. I'm meteorologist Greg Majeski, and of course we're talking about Old Man Winter during this edition. And boy, is he making his presence felt along a big part of the country right now. As you look at the map right now, this is kind of where the current weather advisories, winter storm warnings are out, covering a lot of the southeast. The areas there in pink, those are your winter storm warnings. So it's going to be a little bit busy for this edition. Let's go ahead and talk about what you need to know. So. First thing we're going to talk about, we're going to look at the latest track, look at the latest model data as far as where the winter precipitation is going to fall over the next seven days. We're going to look at the snow totals. We'll compare the American GFS model to the European model and take a look at those comparisons. We'll look at the temperature anomaly map. And yeah, we got some big time temperature anomalies across the country. We'll see when things will begin to modify and warm up as we go through the forecast period. And then finally, we'll look at those temperature forecasts as well and see how things will begin to warm up depending on where you're located in the country. Hey, and if you're new to the channel and you have not subscribed to us yet, please consider being honored to help provide you with your critical winter information when you need it. Just hit the subscribe button and you can be part of this family. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at those latest computer models. So as we look at the forecast period, so we're going to go from Sunday to Sunday. I am going to be looking at two storm systems that I'm going to be tracking across the country. One that's going to be in the southeast. That's going to clip up into the, to the mid-Atlantic and heading into the northeast. And then the second one, a little bit later in the week, going into the middle of the week from about Wednesday to Friday, that'll be coming in off the west coast. It'll kind of lose a little bit of its punch as it comes across the country and then kind of get going again as it goes into areas of the southeast mid-Atlantic region. And then that one looks to be a little more vigorous into the New England states, into the Northeast. So let me go ahead and get myself out of the way here as we go ahead and start off by looking at this activity here in the deep south as we're gonna be seeing the snows beginning to slowly start to erupt a little bit here across the areas of Tennessee, Northern Mississippi, and Alabama. You notice the pink there, that's that freezing rain and sleet area there as the cold air is a little bit shallower that far south. So what that's gonna mean is that could be making uh, some very treacherous road conditions, especially as we go into Monday morning. Watch what happens here as we go into Monday, uh, you're noticing a lot more pink here across areas of Louisiana, stretching all the way back almost to central Texas. East Texas looking um, uh, very slick there with that pink there. A little bit of snow in the northern portion of that over toward Mississippi and Alabama, but that's going to be a real headache there across areas of Louisiana throughout the day on Monday. You're seeing the snows pick up across areas of East uh, Tennessee there over toward the Knoxville area and some decent snows here across northern Mississippi as well as this begins to move on off very slowly uh, heading into Monday night into Tuesday. As I go ahead and pull back out, you're seeing the snows there across areas of Maryland and we're seeing some very cold air coming here and watching this storm system that's going to provide some snows here across areas of New England. We're looking at areas of New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, uh, getting some, I'd say light to moderate snow, not looking overly heavy there, but some, some nice snows. And this will go on by and we're just looking at plain old frigid temperatures as the cold air really kind of pump, pummels in here across the south. And then our attention will turn to this system out here on the west coast. As it moves inland, as we go into the overnight Tuesday into Wednesday morning, it's going to dump some decent snows across the areas of the Intermountain region from Idaho, uh, stretching in down toward Wyoming and northern Utah. It's going to lose a little bit of its punch, though, as it crosses the Rockies and not have much with it left as it goes into, say, Wednesday into Thursday morning. But don't worry, it's still there. You've seen the moisture tap there a little bit as we look into uh, the day on Thursday. And that's just the start of the storm system reinvigorating itself a little bit as we're seeing the snows on the northern portion of this sending right through here across the Midwest as it continues to progress off toward the north and east, getting some snows finally into Ohio, Pennsylvania getting some snows, and maybe the major cities into Philadelphia over to New York City may finally get some snow with this one if the track holds offshore and it's not too close and doesn't bring just plain old rain. So it's gonna get a little bit more strong, or stronger I should say, that's really not proper English, but getting stronger as we look into late in the day. On your Friday, you're looking at some decent snows there across areas of New England and uh, plenty of cold air across the, the, hot, the Midwest and the high plains as well. 
So, as we go ahead and just go forward again, you see in the, the very, very cold air there all throughout the day on Saturday. It's going to be brutal, folks, there across New England. Uh, some very, very cold temperatures there uh, as we look throughout the day on Saturday. And then finally wrapping things up as we go through the, down the day on Sunday, still looking at some active weather out here on the West Coast, seeing some rains out here and some snows across the Sierra Nevada. And then as we wrap up the day on your Sunday, uh, not looking too bad. The bulk of the country looking quiet. We're getting some uh, rains here across areas of Southern California and getting into Arizona. Uh, just a big old cold high pressure system over the eastern third of the United States, which should begin to move on off and we should see temperatures begin to modify as we go into the following week. All right, we talked about the two storm systems. Let's go ahead and take a look at the potential snow totals. We'll look at the European first, and then we'll go and compare that with the GFS as well. So we'll look at both models as we go through the next seven days. So let's go take a look. So we're looking at the European model here as we're going to be looking at the next seven days as far as snow totals from coast to coast. And we're going to start obviously here in the southeast first since that's where that first the snows are going to kind of be erupting in here. As you can see that path going into Monday and into Tuesday as we go through the day on Tuesday. So that's our first little snows here. We'll highlight some of these right now. This is uh, some of the higher amounts of getting up five to six across areas of Mississippi, but generally looking, I think, two to four uh, reasonable right through here from portions of southern Arkansas, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama. That would include the Huntsville area, uh, getting near Chattanooga, going over toward Knoxville, and then getting up into Virginia, a little slow, uh, lower amounts here as we head into Tuesday, uh, late in the day, kind of lesser amounts there. So let me go ahead and pull this back out. We'll go ahead and step this further in time as we go forward again. We see the snows kind of spreading there across areas of New England. Just uh, general light snows with that particular system. Again, it's the second one that's going to be a little more vigorous there. Uh, you notice the snows that will be kind of coming into the areas of the Rockies. That's with our next storm system there. So you're seeing the snows pick up here across uh, the, the Cascade Mountains and then coming into the Intermountain region there uh, with that next storm system dumping the snows there for the interior. So you can see that kind of pick up picks up a little bit there as we go into the day on Thursday. Then we'll see the snows uh, start to pick up across the areas of the Mid-Atlantic. You see it kind of darkening and filling there. This includes areas of Pennsylvania getting into Ohio as that's kind of dumping on there. The snow that's going to fall, by the way, up to the north, I don't think it's going to melt all that much because it's going to be plenty cold. So whatever snow you get, you'll have additional snows that'll fall a few days later as this goes into the northeast. Now notice as we get in the, the peaks on there, that's six inches plus going into areas of Pennsylvania, a lot of New Jersey going throughout the day on Saturday. And then it uh, looks like by the time we get into Sunday, things begin to kind of clear on out. Look at the snow accumulations out even over the Atlantic, over the Gulf Stream. That's kind of uh, something you don't see very often, and that's because the air mass is just so cold, regardless of how warm those the warmer Gulf Stream waters are going to be on that day. And as we go ahead and wrap things up here on your Sunday, late in the day on Sunday, uh, that's how the snow is looking here from coast to coast here. As again, you're seeing uh, pretty decent snows across areas of New England uh, because of the storm system, and then here across areas of the the uh, Appalachians as well. So we got two different storm systems. You see their impacts. You see one out here in the west and one out here into the east, including areas of the deep south. Now let's go ahead and switch this over. Let's go ahead and take a look at the American GFS model. We'll look at this one and take a look at this. Again, we're going to be covering the same period, the next seven days. So once again, we're going to start out looking at the southeast. That's where our first storm system is. And we'll take it out through, uh, say, late in the day on Tuesday. So they look like they're in fairly good agreement here with the snow totals. Again, a two to four inches Although it was the where the European model is putting higher amounts over northern Mississippi, the GFS is putting it over into Tennessee. So you've seen these little six inch higher up into the mountains up to maybe up to 10 inches up to the higher elevations. I wouldn't say that's not out of the question, especially with the flow coming that way, but it is putting the higher amounts over to the Appalachian. So as we go ahead and progress through time here, going into Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll go ahead and zoom back out here. You can see again, just slighter amounts across areas of New England. Then we're gonna watch that next storm system that's gonna come into the inner mountain region. You've seen the snows kind of picking up there as we go through the day on Wednesday and Thursday. And then as we go through the, the period into Thursday and Friday, snows coming into areas of Ohio and Pennsylvania, and uh, it's, its track with the next snows is a little bit south. So the GFS is bringing the snows a little bit further south and across Tennessee. You see in that northern Georgia, northern Alabama, so getting some heavier snows there in that purple region going into Friday. And then eventually it swings it up into New England. You see it there, the heavy snows uh, going into areas of New Jersey and including New York City, finally getting some decent snows out of this uh, going into Saturday. And then this kind of goes offshore going into Saturday and Sunday. So we do have some differences of opinion 
opinions here with the snow totals here and I'm just going to take this all the way out to the end of the run on your Sunday so I was going to stop it right there so we do have a couple of differences we're going to be watching uh, areas here across the southeast showing uh, another round of snow where the European is keeping it north and mostly up into New England with the two storm systems so we'll get to the first one and then we'll see some changes and we'll have to watch closely with that secondary storm a little bit later in the week all right, we talked about the models, we talked about the snow totals. Let's go ahead and take a look at the temperature anomalies. We're looking at 850 and we're gonna track that Arctic cold air and we're gonna see if we're gonna see some warming take place as we look over the next seven. I might even take you out 10 days and see if we're gonna see some changes there. So let's go take a look. So we're taking a look at the 850 level, about 5,000 feet, and boy, you can look at the temperature anomaly map here, and you can clearly see where that hard Arctic air is sitting in here. You see these very, very frigid temperatures right through here, running well below average, and that's going to be kind of funneling in across out of Canada, coming into the lower 48, and going to kind of stick around here for most of the week. So let me go ahead and zoom out of here again, and we'll go ahead and take, uh, step you through this as we go through the forecast period of looking at that very frigid air going into Tuesday and uh, looking quite cold across areas of Texas all the way up uh, through Minnesota and stretching over into the eastern third of the United States. This is kind of kind of spin in a, a kind of a piece of the polar vortex that's going to kind of rotate in here across the southeast as we go into Wednesday. So quite cold and a lot of the country, about two thirds of the country looking at temperatures uh, with below normal temperatures. And we'll see another surge come down here again as we head toward Friday with that secondary system coming in as you see a, a big chunk of below normal temperature sitting here across the eastern third of the United States, especially right there over Kentucky uh, going into Friday night and into Saturday. Now the good news is as I'm going to go and take this in, into the end of the forecast period, going into Sunday, we've been focusing on the, lack, the, la, the next seven days. So you notice we're starting to see some milder temperatures here across areas of the northern plains uh, coming in, relatively speaking. We're not talking about the hard, frigid stuff. But as by the time we go to the end of this model run, and I'm going to take this one all the way out to the 10 days, notice all that blue? It is now gone, folks. It is gone out of here. We're going to get a little bit of a break, and we should see temperatures begin to modify as we go into the following week. So as we go into next weekend, things should begin to modify and we're looking at temperatures across the United States uh, warming up just a little bit, not looking as cold as it was showing earlier. Now that's not to say you're not going to see some more later this winter, but at least it looks like we're going to get a little bit of a break as the North Atlantic Oscillation forecast was showing us kind of moving more toward a neutral phase, which would mean uh, temperatures not as cold nor the storm tracks being as active as what we've been seeing here over the last couple of weeks here into January. All right, we talked about the temperature anomaly, so we know it's going to be cold here for the next seven days, but then we're going to see things begin to modify. Let's go ahead and take a more detailed look, and we'll come back into the continent of the United States and look at the temperatures, and we'll track those temperatures here over the next seven days. Wow. So we're going to start off on Monday morning just to show how cold the temperatures are across a lot of the country. Those areas in purple are your areas where you're seeing temperatures below zero. So the coldest temperatures will continue to be up here in the areas of Montana. Look at these, those white areas especially, 34 to 38 below zero, 26 below zero. These are air temperatures. These are not wind chills here, folks. Uh, some very low temperatures, even getting down to around seven near here to Oklahoma City. Uh, some very, very cold air. And we're going to track this all the way into Sunday uh, for the end of the day on Sunday uh, for you here. So let's go ahead and track this as we go into, uh, again, going into Tuesday morning, looking at the morning lows there. Again, not big changes there. We're starting to see uh, the temperature start to fall here across the southeast as that frontal system moves on through here. We'll see that frigid air finally settling in, in, into that part of the country. Starts to modify a little bit. It is still plenty cold. This is still very much an Arctic air mass, but we're not seeing as much purple there as we go into Wednesday morning, but still quite cold across most of the country. And a lot of areas won't see high temperatures even get above freezing. Uh, for that matter, as we go throughout the day on Wednesday, still over half the country looking quite cold. And then this will go again heading into Thursday morning as well. So it looks like we're going to get another shot here coming down here a little bit later in the week. So as we look at Friday, again, we're seeing the purple start to increase here across areas of the northern plains once again. Uh, again, not, not quite as cold as the previous one, but still quite nippy as we see the frigid freezing line dip to the south here as we go the day on Saturday. Notice the freezing line is way down here along the Gulf Coast. And you see it overnight lows into the teens there across the southeast. Not bad out in California, though. This is not too bad. Uh, definitely not bad for morning lows there into the 50s across southern California, to say the least. So the bulk of the cold air is going to be for the eastern two-thirds. The inner mountain is getting a little bit of a break here 
uh, as we go into Saturday uh, of next weekend. So as we go throughout the day on Sunday, uh, again, that real cold air is really going to entrench itself behind that storm system into New England. So uh, you're looking at uh, very, very frigid cold temperatures here in the end of the deep south, the mid-Atlantic, the northeast. And you look at daytime highs holding into the teens across a lot of areas of the Midwest. There'll be some snow on the ground there as well. And then you look at, look at the temperatures fall. Look at this. This, I mean, really falls significantly down to seven. We're already below freezing uh, as we go late in the day on your Sunday. Uh, below freezing temperatures already into the deep south. And many areas here in New England looking quite nippy and quite cold as we wrap up this seven-day outlook here on the temperatures. Now, uh, I'll go ahead and step this through the 10-day like I did on the 850 here. I want to step this. I want to show you how things begin to modify a bit as we go beyond this. Uh, again, you see the cold air kind of retreat on out as we look beyond this forecast going into days 8, 9, and 10. You see the southeast really start to rebound here. Look at the milder temperatures going into the following week. Um, so we got one week of very cold, cold temperatures, and then we see things begin to modify where the cold, the real Arctic cold air will be back up in Canada, and you relatively just polar air mass here across areas of the Intermountain West as we go into the, say, uh, going into Wednesday of the following week. So again, we got a week of some very cold temperatures that are going to be uh, kind of coming in here across the country. We see things begin to modify as we go into days 8, 9, and 10 of the following week. All right, we've talked about a lot of stuff. Let's go ahead and wrap this edition up. So our first winter event is going to be uh, focusing mostly here on the southeast. As you can see with the latest advisories and the winter storm warnings, everybody here across the southeast, you need to pay close attention to your local emergency managers and make sure you check in with your local weather folks here to stay up on the latest advisories. If the road conditions get too bad, make sure you stay off the roads. If folks remember Snowmageddon in Atlanta back in 2014, we darn sure don't need to see a repeat performance in any city across the southeast. So please be safe and uh, make sure you check it ahead and make sure things are looking good in your areas and wait for this first winter storm to kind of roll on by and then we'll go ahead and track the next one a little bit later in the week. All right, that's it for this edition. And again, if you have not subscribed yet to the channel, if you like what you see, it'd be a pleasure for you to come on board. Just please just hit the subscribe button. I'd like to go ahead and add you to our growing family here. Until then, you guys take it easy, be safe out there, and we'll see you on the next Weather Nerds channel update. Have a good day. Talk to you later.